All right, so we're going to talk about the present subjunctive and quando. So quando is, is special in that sometimes it gets the indicative and sometimes it gets the subjunctive. So first let's talk about when it gets the indicative. When it's a recurring action, so for example, um, we did our routine. When we talked about a routine, uh, and we said things that were recurring that we would do every day or on a routine basis, we would use the indicative for that. So, for example, I have here, cuando miro televisión. So that's like every time I watch TV, um, then, then I can say something else. So, so <clears throat> if you think about the phrase and it makes sense to say, every time that I, or every time that he, or whatever the subject is, every time, um, then it's probably a recurring action, and so you're probably okay to use the indicative there. So if I wanted to say, cuando miro televisión, me da sueño. Every time I watch TV, it makes me tired. Or, cuando mi esposa llega a la casa, this other one down here, it's like every time my wife gets home, cuando mi esposa llega a casa, comemos cena. Every time my wife gets home, we eat dinner. Something like that. So those are recurring actions. Again, the routine sort of things that, that happen over and over again. Now, if you're talking about a specific instance of a future event, so, um, for, for example, when this happens, or when that happens, um, that's going to be the subjunctive. So, cuando llegues a mi casa, so that's, that's talking about a specific time that you're going to come to my house. So, uh, I, I could be telling you about um, how to get to my house, and I could say, when you get to my house, cuando llegues a mi casa, vamos a cenar. So, when you get here, we're going to eat dinner. So, uh, so that's one example of cuando, and then a future event that, that triggers the use of subjunctive. Another could be cuando te vayas. So again, that's subjunctive. When you go, cuando te vayas, um, lleva tu uh, sombrero. So I could say, when you leave, take your hat. Make sure you don't forget your hat. Cuando te vayas, lleva tu sombrero, something like that. So that's, again, talking about the specific instance of you leaving, which is a future event, not a recurring event. So if it's recurring, like every time that I, or every time that she, that sort of thing, then we use the indicative, which is just that regular present tense. And if it's a future event, cuando eso pase, when something happens, then we would use the subjunctive.